Hello buddy, it's Ben Dominator. Today we got a whole lot of news to cover with 14.50 possibly coming out tomorrow and also a bunch of tournaments and the OG pickaxe returning. So yeah, if you guys like what you see and you are new here, be sure to subscribe because I make videos like this all the time and it really helps the channel out a lot. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the Ghost Rider Tournament. Um, the Ghost Rider Cup, in the, featuring the Marvel Knockout LTM, will be a trios tournament on November 4th, and you will be able to get the Ghost Rider outfit for free if you place accordingly. So yeah, super exciting. This is pretty much just like the Daredevil Tournament. Super excited. The skin looks super cool. Yeah, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to participate in the tournament because I won't be available during the time it's taking place. But um, yeah, I, I don't really have much to say about it because it's kind of just like the last one we got for Daredevil. But we have the Ghost Rider skin, which I think is a much better skin than the Daredevil skin. But yeah, pretty excited for that. We also got the Lachlan Pickaxe Frenzy Tournament, which is going to be on November 7th. Now, this one is a lot more interesting. So Lachlan pretty much got his own skin. We don't know what the skin looks like yet, but apparently he's going to reveal it. So Epic made a blog post about this called Compete in Lachlan's Pickaxe Frenzy. It's time to put the weapons down and take up your pickaxe. Compete in Lachlan's Pickaxe Frenzy starting Sunday, November 8th for an opportunity to earn Lachlan's cosmetic set before it hits the item shop. Winners will have the chance to display the Lachlan outfit and back bling pickaxe and emote in game before anybody else. In this tournament, you and two friends will need to find different ways to be resourceful to earn the victory royale. With only a pickaxe as your primary weapon, search for rusty cans, impulse grenades, decoy grenades, and supply drops to protect your team and eliminate your opponents. So yeah, you are only able to use your pickaxe. There's no weapons. There's only pickaxes and items. And I think that's actually a pretty interesting twist here. Probably going to be a pretty difficult tournament because of this. I, I'm pretty excited for it. I think it's going to be pretty fun. And hopefully I will be able to compete in this one. It also says here that you can watch Lachlan reveal his outfit on stream on November 7th, just before 7 p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, very cool. We're going to actually get a look at the skin pretty soon. And yeah, I actually find it pretty interesting that they're releasing the Lachlan skin before the Gref G skin, because the Gref G skin was actually announced all the way back when Ninjas and Loser Fruit skin were both announced. So I guess his skin will have to wait a little while longer. All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was the default OG Chapter 1 pickaxe is actually returning for free. So yeah, Fortnite released a blog post talking about Fortnite arriving on Xbox Series X and PS5. We already knew that they were coming to these consoles, but they kind of give us some more details about it and actually a lot of details about it talking about all the brand new features with the controllers with the graphics all that kind of stuff they explain how you can pick up your progress and keep going which is pretty standard we kind of thought that would be the case um and how it's going to be cross compatible with everything else of course so you're going to be able to like, cross play between all different consoles but at the very end they have a thing called throwback bonus so it says in the spirit of remembering the past while looking for the future we're offering all fortnite players on all supported platforms the free throwback axe pickaxe starting november 4th this classic default pickaxe from fortnite chapter 1 will be available through january 15th 2021 for everyone both in-game and through the PlayStation Store. So yeah, this is pretty exciting to see that they're actually going to be bringing back the OG pickaxe. Will they do this with the glider? Will they do this with other things? Per me personally, I really want them to bring out the OG defaults. Honestly surprised that they haven't sold the OG defaults like in the item shop, for, like 800 each. Me personally, I would really love to see the OG defaults return, but it's really cool that we're getting the OG pickaxe, kind of a good, like a right step in the right direction for bringing back these classic items that you know a lot of people miss. Yeah, it's pretty interesting that they're just bringing it back, and I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're not selling it in the item shop, because uh, you know how much money, they would make a ton of money off the OG pickaxe in the item shop. Um, I'm glad they're giving it out for free, I think that's really cool. And the very last thing that I wanted to talk about here in today's video is are we getting 14.50 tomorrow? Well, Fortnite Mares actually ends 
tomorrow. I'm not sure if it ends. At, I think it ends in the morning, which means we're probably going to get the update downtime tomorrow at around 3 a.m. Eastern time is what I presume. So yeah, I'm pretty much fully expecting an update to come out tomorrow. Again, this doesn't mean it's fact. That's what I'm guessing. But almost like 99% sure this week we're getting an update. So yeah, pretty excited for that. Pretty excited to see the leak skins. Not sure if there's going to be a lot of leak skins to cover. Uh, not sure if there's really going to be much added to the game tomorrow. I have a feeling that next update is probably not going to be very exciting. Because we just got a huge big exciting Fortnite Nightmares update. Maybe they'll add a few new items, maybe they'll add some extra superpowers into the loot pool. Maybe a few skin leaks, like 4 skins, 5 skins. But I have a feeling that this update is mainly just gonna be kinda to end Fort Nightmares, get us back to where the season was before, and maybe put some event files into the game if we're lucky. But yeah, if not tomorrow, definitely expecting that update this week. So yeah guys, that's about gonna do it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share your opinions in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.